When I met him, he was 85 and heavy with wrinkles. Just another victim of time. Just another wheelchair occupier in a game of musical chairs with death. Another nursing home resident waiting to leave but not expecting to walk out. An old encyclopedia of knowledge that no one wanted to read anymore. Hello, he said. He showed off his broken picket fence smile as his trembling hand pointed to the vacant seat beside him. Would you like to join me, he asked. I agreed. I exchanged his smile for one of mine and occupied the lonely chair beside him. But I'm not going to lie. The concept of dying gets me a little paranoid inside, and I start questioning everything. Like, like why do nursing homes look a lot like asylums from the inside? And all those pills for them to live longer or die quicker? When, when are you going to die? When will I be joining you? When, when, when will I be joining you? How gentle will death be when he comes for us? How depressed will our bodies feel today? Our soul decides to leave us for the last time. I've never seen death. No, I've never seen death. By the look of his aged face, I imagine death comes here often and stays way past visiting hours. That death is the reason for the earthquakes in his hand and the stagnancy in his legs. The reason why the seat was vacant when I arrived. The reason why his seat will soon be too. We are all going to die someday. It is inevitable. Regardless of your race, age, gender, or sexual orientation, not even the rich can buy time. As I sat there and soaked in all the wisdom from this elder's words, I realized that there are two ways of dealing with this truth. You can either leave here today, forget I ever recited this poem, and go on living your life hoping that God is counting his seconds in Mississippis. Or you can accept the expected and check off doing the things I love from your checklist. You only live once, and there isn't enough time wasting Wait to be wasted and complaining, so make every moment count. Realize that every gas you take is one less breath. That every TikTok from every clock is one second less, so live. Like there are no, like no Mondays in your calendar. Like every day is a holiday. Cherish every moment, knowing that moment will never happen again. Cherish this moment. Find beauty in the things you hate until they become the things you love. Live. Like not even being jailed in a nursing home, guilty for being too old, can stop you from smiling. He never stopped smiling when I met him. He seemed 35 in an old man's costume, a wise king with a wheelchair for a throne, an elder that taught me it's not about having the best but about making the best of what you have. And I don't know about you, but I'd rather die knowing that I live than to live knowing I already died. Thank you.